this is me and welcome back to another video. So I'm here with Joey and today's video is going to be a show vlog. Uh, today isn't the day of the show. I thought I'd do a little bit of pre preparation beforehand. However, I have just booked our test. So we're going to do some dressage again because I thought that'd be nice and fun. Hey! Because uh, this is a place we've been before for our sort of first show of the year. Also, we haven't been out for a few months now, so it'll be interesting to see what this boy is like, especially as I've never taken him to a show before in the middle of winter. So that could be a little bit more interesting, yes. Um, I don't know if anybody else gets like this, but now I've booked it, it seems a little bit more real. Um, today's Monday. My test is on Saturday, so I only have a few days to learn it. I still don't know if I'm going to do one or two yet. So far, I'm just doing the one. Um, it basically depends how quickly I learn my test. I feel like it'll be good to do two, but then I don't want to put too much pressure on ourselves. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. This boy is a little bit muddy at the moment. You're a bit of a mud monster, aren't you? Yes. So I'm going to get him ready now. We're going to do a bit of practice today. It is a little bit windier today, so uh, hopefully you're not too wild wild beast hey no he should be fine all right let's get you a little cleaner because you're an absolute mud monster yes yes you are mm -hmm. i don't know if you guys can hear that but um yeah right now it's it's pretty windy joey don't eat the camera do you the camera? It's not tasty. No. Also, I need to, because it's a dressage test, I'm gonna have to plat him. So I'm gonna have to like sort his mane out because at the moment, it's a little bit of a, you're a little bit of a wild beast at the moment. Yes. Yes, your mane just goes in all directions. Cause yeah, it's looking a little interesting, my friend. I'm watching the sunset on Tennessee Hill. I wish I could capture it, I never will Cause I'm not a painter, can't stay in the lines Just sitting here sipping on dandelion wine It's starting to rain but I don't feel a thing Sitting Oh my gosh, Joey, you are so slobbery. Yes, oh my gosh, my whole coat. Okay, do you want to do another stretch? Good. Well done, Joey. I'm actually so proud of Joey. He really behaved himself. Like I could feel there a few times when he felt a little bit fizzy, a little bit excited, especially when we were cantering down the long side. But he actually, like, I feel like at the beginning of the test, there are a few bits where he felt like, me and my instructor call it his trot where it feels like he's wearing a pencil skirt and he kind of shuffles along and he can't quite, he doesn't quite stretch his legs enough. But there were some really nice movements, especially, yeah, down the long side, he can really stretch out. He doesn't have to worry about using up his energy around the corner, if that makes sense, and not falling over and being as wobbly. But no, there were some really good movements there. He was also very well behaved. Casper recently with the wind has been rather spicy. So Joey, you are like, what, half Casper's age? And you've behaved, he's behaved himself more? <laughs> so, well done, Joey. I'll get you some more treats and I'll put you out in the field. Yes, good man. I know, you want more treaties, yes. All right, everybody, it's now Friday, the day before my show, and I am not feeling prepared because the last three days I have been ill. One of the days I was pretty much bedridden the whole day. I managed to get like some editing done. Yesterday, I managed to take Joey for a walk. Not really a ride, it was more just like a walk around the village where I kind of just sat on top of him like a lump of potatoes, sack of potatoes. Um, so yeah, I haven't practiced my test since then and I haven't really got anything ready. So that's what today is gonna be. I'm still a tiny bit ill, not COVID, don't worry, all good. I just had a bit of a cold and I think because of being in lockdowns and things like that, when you get a cold now, it really hits your immune system. So I was just, I was out of it for a while, but I'm back, I'm ready to go. And I thought I would go through with you guys how I learned my dressage tests because I am no Charlotte Dujardin. I'm not a pro rider, that is not the reason you guys watch my videos, uh, but I thought I would show you how I've recently, because I've kind of more recently gone into dressage, it's not something I've done a lot of in the past, how I learned my tests, because uh, believe it or not, 
I'm dyslexic, so I have some interesting tips and tricks. I'm now in the arena and I'm a visual learner, so it really helps me to um, sort of look at the arena. Sometimes I walk it out. Sometimes I've even got a whiteboard now that I can, you know, draw my test on and go through it. But also something that really helps me being dyslexic is, this is probably something really bad to say. This is probably not what your instructor will tell you to do, but I don't like remembering tests by the letters. Like sometimes it does help if I need to do a transition at a certain level or in a corner but I find I like to memorize a test I always think where are the judges because it's very easy to accidentally do a test back to front or flipped if that makes sense so what I like to do while I'm going down the center line I think where is the judge if I'm doing a circle or a transition I think okay the judge is behind me here um, also something I like to do is I kind of think of the arena as different corners so like the left nearest the judge also it really helps me to remember movements rather than, you know, A to C, that kind of thing. So basically, I remember the test by different movements, where they are and where the judges are. Also, I am a visual learner, so I learn things best if I can visualize them in my brain. So online, you can find or look up pretty much the test, but just with the words. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it properly. I'm gonna buy all the tests. I'm going to, because then they come with the pictures and the pictures really help me. So uh, that's gonna help. But anyway, I'm going to actually ride Casper first because then I can go through the test, really visualize it in my brain and not have to worry so much on if Casper's looking nice and stuff because he's not my dressage horse. He just likes a bit of fun. Uh, flat work isn't his favorite thing. Um, so. I'm very lucky that I've got Casper that I can do the test on because Joey's quite clever. He will remember the test if I do it too many times on him and he will anticipate when we're maybe doing a transition and he might do it a little bit early. So uh, I'm not gonna do the test too much with Joey today. I might just pretty much just do it once and work more with Joey on his transitions, getting a nice trot. The first time I go through a test, I, fo I focus more on remembering it and making sure, for example, with my serpentine that I'm um, doing it in the right place we're not wobbly or for example with my 20 meter circle that we're doing a nice circle shape rather than an egg shape and then I'll focus a little bit more the second time I go through the test on making sure that they're working nicely um, and that I'm looking a little bit more presentable but anyway I'm gonna go get the horses give them a ride and the next time I see you will probably be when I'm doing my tack cleaning marathon because I've got a lot of tack that I need to clean. Joey was actually pretty good today. It's really funny because we went through the test and there are so many like almost moments. It's so funny because it's like, there's some bits where he feels amazing. Like, oh my gosh, I've got a dressage horse underneath me. And then there are some bits where he goes a bit green or he just kind of flops on me a little bit. And I'm like, oh my gosh, please, please Joey. We always, we always have it. So it'll be interesting to see what he's like tomorrow. Also something I've learned about Joey in the last few Few weeks which has been a little bit of a light bulb moment is um, now he's older he's got more mu he's got more muscle so it does mean that he can do this lovely big canter but he struggles with it because he is still a little bit weak and it's still a little bit new to him getting that big canter so he does this thing where his it's kind of like his front end isn't quite joined up to his back end and he kind of shuffles along and I need to get that big trot or that big canter and then he feels amazing. So hopefully tomorrow he'll be a little bit more up for it, a little bit more spicy. It's supposed to be really chilly tomorrow so he might be, might feel a bit fresh in the coldness. Yes. Um, so you never know, we might have let's go dressage diva Joey or we might have uh, flat work shuffly Joey. I hope we have, have the first one. But um, we'll see how it goes. I'm now gonna give him a bit of a bath. I'm not gonna give him a full bath because I don't think he'll like it that much and it is still winter and we don't quite have the hot water in the wash bay yet. We do have the solarium. So what I'm gonna do is wash his tail because being a dapple gray, that's the only sort of part of him where you can kind of see that he's dirty. So time for a tail wash, mister. Yes. Wiggle snoot, wiggle snoot, wiggle snoot, boop. Now, normally if you have a horse that you're gonna plait their tail, I wouldn't recommend washing it the day before. Joey, you've just put your butt right in my face. Thank you, I'm gonna to step to the side. Um, but yeah, basically, if you're gonna plait your horse's tail, it's probably not the best to wash their mane or tail before the day of the show because the grease in their tail actually helps the plait stay in. I don't plait his tail, so that's fine. I'm gonna wash it because, I mean, it's not too bad. It's been like a week since I last washed it. 
it's like you've got a tiny bit of a yellow tinge to it so we're going to use some purple shampoo um, we're going to give it a bit of a spruce up so we're looking a little bit more presentable so if our test doesn't go well at least we can look pretty he's usually pretty good at having his tail washed he doesn't actually get wet he doesn't feel the cold it's literally just his tail obviously joey you're such a fidget i always stand by the side in case they do kick it's not very good to stand right behind their bottom I know it's not your favourite thing. It's now tack cleaning time and I always like to do this the night before because show days can be a little bit stressful and one less thing to do and worry about is always great. I also like to pack my tack away before um, so I don't forget anything as well. Um, also, you might be wondering, Esme, you've got a brand new lovely tack room. Why are you cleaning your tack outside in the cold in the middle of winter? Well, I still haven't figured the plumbing out. Well, um, I probably need to call a plumber to do that and it's one of those things that I just haven't really got around to doing because in my list of priorities, it's never been at the top. So uh, if you could spam the comments, Esme, please get a plumber out. That would um, help me to remind me that um, I need to call a plumber. Anyway, well, I have called a plumber. The plumber just hasn't got, hasn't got back to me. So I need to call a different plumber. Anyway, um, yeah, I need to clean my tack. I'm gonna do a little bit of a time lapse of that because I always find tack cleaning is quite satisfying to watch. So um, enjoy and I'll be back with you guys when my tack is hopefully sparkling and clean. My saddle is now clean. I'm just gonna put my Voltaire Design saddle cover on it. To keep it nice and safe, especially when we're moving and grooving tomorrow. Um, also, I am very, very glad I am riding in this saddle because it has some massive knee rolls on it, which gives me a lot of confidence, especially if it is gonna be frosty tomorrow and Joey's gonna maybe bust a few moves with excitement. Um, I know that I'm going to be very secure in the saddle. So uh, yeah, that's making me feel a little bit better about tomorrow. Just getting everything ready and I'll probably see you guys um, tomorrow morning when I'm going through my final checklist in the lorry. Today is the day of the show. It's bright and early. Um, you might be wondering, Esme, what on earth is this get up you're wearing? Um, so I have my show whites on, so my white breeches and my white show shirts underneath this. And I have um, some jogging bottoms on top. And also I have two jumpers on because it is quite chilly um, to make sure that while I'm getting Joey ready, I don't get dirty. I don't get Joey slobber on me. So I'm just gonna do my final checks to make sure that everything's in the van. Then the next thing to do is plaiting. And I feel like with the cold as well, I, I don't know why every time I plait, I don't know if you guys get this, but my hands start cramping up halfway through so the beauty is pain beauty is pain <laughs> Alrighty, I'm just doing a final last check that I have everything. Also, this is Joey's exercise sheet. I thought this would be good in case we get there a little bit early and I want to give him a walk around, but um, also for the warm up as well. I don't want him to get too cold because it is a very, very chilly day. There's a little bit of ice 
in places. So doing my last check, I've got my saddle, got my bridle. Oh, I thought I'd show you my helmet. This is going to be the helmet I'm competing in today. Look how gorgeous this is from Charles Owen. So um, while I'm competing, it's really important to make sure that your head is comfortable. The last thing you want to think about is my helmet is uncomfy. So this is nice and comfy. Also for dressage, it's got a nice classic look, but also a bit of bling as well. So thank you, Charles Owen, for sending this to me. Um, I have my gloves. Got some nice white ones for dressage. These are my Lemieux ones. Um, got the girth, half pad. Tall boots, these are my paddle aside, they're my sort of competing boots. I might need to give them a bit of a polish. Um, got my grooming kit with some spray in case I need it because Joey always likes to get dirty somehow in the horse box on the way here. Um, I also have another rug that I'll probably put on Joey to travel. This actually has, I believe, oh no, this is the wrong one. This is the one I've just showed you. This is Joey's special one. I have taken it out and put it back in again, so it's not very not very neatly folded in here. Apologies. Hi. But um, yeah, that has Joey's show name on, which is very exciting. I don't think I've ever told you guys Joey's show name. It's kind of one of those things where I'm like, ah, nobody needs to know that. But anyway, um, I also have my white Voltaire Design saddle pad. Nice and... I always find white for dressage. Looks very nice and uh, professional. And then, oh, let me reach. I have my Rock -a Rose show jacket from High, and this is gorgeous. I love the little bit of bling. It's not too much, just a little, little bit there for dressage. And this is very flattering, really nice. So yeah, you've probably seen me wear that a few times at shows and things. But yeah, this is pretty much, oh, we can't forget. The jumbo box of tasty treats, because you know, it's always needed at shows. Love a good box of treats. We have had this for ages, it still has not run out yet. Also, this is a really odd item, but I have it. This is Joey's snot rag, or slobber rag, whatever you want to call it. Basically, um, Joey in the warm-up, or Joey just in general, is a very slobbery horse, and he'll get slobber everywhere, so um, he doesn't like it when his mouth gets all wet, if that makes sense, <laughs> that sounds really weird. But uh, basically, he will try and wipe his slobber on people, so we wipe it off and then he's happy. So um, yeah, that is pretty pretty much everything. I don't have any boots for him because I don't like to wear boots in the warm up. You can do if you want to, but for the actual test, you're not allowed to wear boots. Um, the horse, not the rider, of course. Um, and I always find if I warm him up with boots on and then have to take them off, he might sometimes can be a bit funny if he's standing around and we're taking boots off. I feel like it's just one added stress that isn't needed on a show day, so he'll be fine in the warm-up. He's usually pretty careful anyway. So um, yeah, time to get the boy, get him platted and get him ready to go. So um, I've got a bit of a dilemma at the moment because I was very organised. Before a show day, I always like to write down my timings to make sure that we're on schedule because I'm really bad at estimating how long it will take me to do things, especially platting because I haven't done it that many times. So I'm like, will it take me 20 minutes? Will it take me 45 minutes? It could, it could be anything between those two if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, so I'm deciding, do I plat Joey now, then put him back in a stable to have some downtime before we go, or do I want to plat him, get him booted up, get him in the horse box, and then go? So as soon as I start sort of making him pretty, he's ready to go and doesn't have to like hang around. I'm just deciding what's gonna be best for him. So obviously we haven't done too many shows together yet. So this is still working out the whole show routine. I know a lot of people plat the night before. I cannot do that with this horse the next morning all the plats will be on. Uh, you like to destroy stuff, don't you, mate? Anyway, uh, he's looking very high alert right now. I think, I think he, he knows it's a show day. You know, I'm packing stuff up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I'm not as nervous as I usually am. Like the first time I went out competing with Joey, I was just, yeah, I was very anxious and very, very nervous. I'm feeling a lot calmer today. I don't know if that's because we haven't had as much time to prepare. So I'm like, ah, we're just going out. We're having some fun, which is what sh competing should be. But I feel like I have less pressure on myself to do well because <laughs> we haven't had as long to prepare. I don't know if that makes sense at all, but to me it does. Um, so yeah, I think what I might do is plat him, put him back in a stable with some haylage, let him chill. And then when we need to go, I can load him up because before it would take it would take between 
five minutes to 45 minutes to load him and now he loads first time so uh, you know you're doing something well when you start arriving to places early but then I don't want to get there too early because if not you'll get bored yes <laughs> anyway should we get you looking pretty I mean you're already pretty but dressage dressage ready yeah. Also, Joey has been out this morning because if I kept him in and let all the other horses out, I don't think he'd be very happy about that. So that's why he's dirty. And another reason why I don't plat him the night before. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not this tall. I'm, I'm standing on a box to do Joey's mane. I don't know why, he's just looking out in giraffe mode. No, don't move. Oh, it was all going so smoothly and then as soon as I started speaking to the camera I was going to say I'm using bands because I'm definitely not skilled enough to use a needle and thread um, Also, it's just like a chilled little unaffiliated dressage show, you know I feel like it's a big enough effort that I'm plaiting as it is. Oh, I need to do your grooming All right, Joey is plaited. All I need to do is get his boots on or his travel boots and we can be off in the van and I'll see you guys more at the show. I've kind of got to the stage where the nerves are kind of kicking in. I know rationally there's no need for me to be nervous because, you know, my life isn't dependent on this dressage test. Um, I know I'm nervous because uh, I've had a snack but struggled to eat it. You know when you get really nervous and you're like, oh, I don't really feel like eating but I probably should because it'll be good for me to have, you know, a bit, a bit of something to keep me going. Um, but yeah, he's just having his haylage. He seems very chilled. So I'm gonna try and bring in that chilled energy. <laughs> because the worst thing is to be nervous, then your horses really pick up on it. So yeah, I'll see you when you're there. We're in the van. We're on our way. I'm nervous. No, I'm not. I'm excited. That's what I'm telling myself. Okay, let's go. About that empty field, just you and me in time to kill my first kiss. I didn't know would come. You laughing at my stupid jokes, both of us wishing we were old right then, cause we knew it was love. And everybody says take it slow, but I think it's true when you know you know. Yeah, we could be dancing all night. and finish my test and I am such a proud mum. I'm so proud of Joey. He was so good. I always, it's so funny, every time he goes into that arena, he has a little bit of a spook at the flower pots and the spooky corner, things like that. As soon as he goes down the center line, he's like dressage mode activated. The whole time he had that sparkle. I know, it's like, I can only explain it when you're competing. Like when you're at home, the horse is like, oh, this is what we do all the time. But as soon as they know that they're competing, it's, he's like, okay, all eyes on me, he had that power, he felt so much better compared to last time, I think he's gained a lot more muscle since the summer, but also he just felt so grown up, he was so good, we got that powerful canter in places and his trot felt amazing, so I'm super happy, gonna get him untacked, put his rug on, make sure he doesn't get too cold, and then we'll see what our result is. Well done Joey, good boy. So Joey's in the back, he was a really good boy, I've given him lots of treats, so he's enjoying his haylage, 
chilling. Um, I thought I'd go through my results because I always find this quite interesting because the thing I love about dressage is you're competing against yourself because um, I always like to try and work towards getting a higher percentage than I did last time. So um, this time we got 66% or 66.35 if you want to be that specific. Um, we didn't get any marks lower than a six, which I'm really proud of. We actually got a few 7.5s. Um, we also like basically the first half of the test of the test is all trot and that's Joey's best gait. So the first half of the test we pretty much got all sevens. Um, so that's really nice. Uh, basically it went downhill a little bit. Oh, we went into the canter. The canter we still need to work on. He's still a little bit weak. Um, there are a few um, comments there saying basically he needs to work over his back and through his neck a little bit more. Uh, but we're working on that. He's young. But yeah, the judges' comments were a lovely combination with lots of potential. Um, just need to work a bit more on your suppleness and balance. Well presented. So yeah, also I got a seven for my rider's position and a seven for our rhythm. So well done, Joey. Also, um, I'm quite excited because we got a rosette. We came third. Um, so really happy with him. That's really lovely. Like obviously, you know, getting a rosette is always nice, but I'm just, I'm mainly happy because we got our best ever percentage. So we need to get out and do some more dressage, Joey. That was really good fun. And in fact, we did actually do another dressage show a week later and I vlogged it. So I thought I'd put it at the end of this video because I know that you guys would want to see how we did. So enjoy. It's now a new day and it's actually the day of our second competition of the year. We're doing some more dressage again, which I thought would be fun. Um, so we have literally just arrived at the show venue. We've got Joey in the back of the horse box. Um, he's very happy having some haylage, so I need to get him ready soon. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I always find you kind of know how it's gonna go once you warm them up because I can kind of feel okay what sort of mood is Joey in today because at the end of the day you know they are horses sometimes they have good days sometimes they don't just like us but um, I'm gonna get him tacked up and I'll see you guys when I'm riding got lucky got lucky overnight jackpot when I got the invite let me wrap my arms around you because I can't go home without you and my heart just vibe with you babe wanna go sky high with you babe gotta bring you close to tell you you're my lucky strike, and I got to tell you If you didn't know, then I got to tell you That you're my lucky strike, and I got to tell you If you didn't know, then I got to tell you That you're my lucky strike, cooler than cold I'm all in, so load up the dice, so heavy My goodness I was not expecting this Joey and I have just got our first ever first rosette I'm shocked he did I mean he did really well but that was honestly one of the biggest classes that um, I've done with him and you know then when I got my times through I looked at how many people were in our class and I was like we probably won't come home with a rosette. I was like, maybe if we're lucky, we might get like a fifth or a sixth. And it was really funny because when I walked in there to go and pick up my results, I looked at all the tests without rosettes and then I went on to the sixth and then the fifth. Then I went up and up and up and I was like, is mine even here? And then I saw that we won. And I was just like, oh my goodness. So it's, it's gone to show that our hard work has paid off. We've got a new personal best as well. I haven't even properly like looked at the judges' comments and things, but I'm so happy, guys. Well done, Joey. He was such a good boy. <gasps> Hello, superstar. We're home. Yeah. I know that you just want to. Do you want to have a big roll? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well 
Look at how curly his forelock is. I've just taken his his. Oh, well, I've un his plaits are still in, but I've unravelled them. But look how fluffy and curly your forelock is. You look so funny. You look so cute. Mwah. All right, everybody. I'm now back from our competition and. I'm honestly just still buzzing. I'm still so happy with Joey and so proud of him. So anyway, guys, I just want to say a huge thank you for watching today's video and coming along with Joey and I's journey to get here to the show today. Um, if you know how it done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.